video 44. Well, the rear battery uh, tray is out getting some longer legs. I uh, decided to lower that down about an inch and a half to give myself more clearance uh, under, the, under the trunk area there for the batteries and the cabling and all. Um, so that's in progress. You can see the two legs uh, that have been just cut to, uh, to get ready to weld on. I've also pulled the motor back out after speaking with NetGain a little bit about the way the brushes were starting to seat. I uh, decided to put some different brushes in that are more suited to uh, this direct drive and, uh, and the, the application the way the car is being put together. So, so that's back in progress. I should have that motor back in here not, not too long. And uh, this tray shouldn't take too long to finish up. Then the batteries can go on. And uh, for the moment, the car is just enjoying the inside. You can see a little snow out the door there. It's, uh, it's pretty cold, so that's not a, not a good time of year for this car. Um, so it's a good time to do some more work on it. I haven't really done too much on the on the body. You can still see the body seams there, just just still in, in rough shape. Um, but the car is still all drivable, operational, of course. And as soon as I put the motor and the batteries back in, add this uh, 120 more volts uh, to the car to make it 240. And uh, that'll double the range and uh, should be a, a good spring. Stay, stay tuned for more videos.